Hi and welcome to the video training of Node.js. In today's video training we will be looking at how to create QR codes using Node.js. But first let's find out what are QR codes and how do they work. You have probably seen QR codes. They are everywhere from websites to advertisements. They look a bit like barcodes but instead a vertical stripes they are made up of square shaped patterns. As an increasing number of businesses start to use them, they are becoming more and more recognizable and many smartphones now come with built-in QR readers. What does QR stand for? QR stands for Quick Response. While they may look simple, QR codes are capable of storing lots of data, but no matter how much they contain, when scanned, the QR code should allow the user to access information instantly, hence why it's called a quick response code. Okay, let's get started by installing the QR code library that we will be using in our node project. It will be used to generate QR codes for a client or yourself. The, the project is called node QR code. Let's look at the different ways and output formats you can use to create a QR code. Let's start by installing the library. But before that, we need to create a project directory or folder in our computer. So let's create a folder called node QR code. Let's set up the permissions. Node QR code. Let's go into the folder. And now set up the initial npm project initialization that will generate the package.json file so we have the package.json file now and we are ready to install qr code so sudo npm install or you can you just use i save QR code. Okay, the QR code have been successfully installed and we are ready to use. So let's first create a QR code image data. This is the drill number one we will be doing in, in today's video training. So let's create a file. Let's name it node QR image data.js. Sorry, that is JS. Okay now let's define a function called generate qr generate qr equals async text We are going to use the try catch block console.log await qr code dot data to data url text and here we are going to catch the error if there is an error and we are going to console.log the error that's pretty much it and at the end we are going to call the generate qr function we are going to pass the url we want to create qr code from that is yahoo.com and before that we need to require create a of QR code library 
by requiring the QR code. Okay, that's it. Save the file. Let's go to the console and now let's try to run node node QR image data.js. So you can see our program have generated an image file which is actually a QR code. If you copy this and if you go to let's create a file HTML file and if I create an image tag and set the source to this generated base64 encoded code and I save this in the same folder as test QR image dot html okay let's open this projects node node qr code test qr image you can see we have the qr code which has been generated for from our program so let's move on to the next drill create a QR code in terminal. If you want to see the QR code in the terminal via Node.js, you can do so by passing a config object. So we will be using the same code as we did before with a little bit of amendment and we will be calling this file as node.qr.image.console.js. and in this file we are going to change q we are going to use a function provided by qr code library that is called to string and we will be passing it a setting that says type colon terminal so it is telling the module it is telling the module qr code to show qr code on the terminal Let's save this file and note this is the file. Let's copy the name. Okay, note, paste the file, and there we go. We have the QR code on in the terminal console. So that's pretty amazing. Okay, what if you want to save? the QR code as an image and just use it on your website, in your app or anywhere else. You can generate a PNG, SVG or a UTF-8 image for the QR code. So just copy the same code and save it in a new file and you can call it node QR gen image. So it generates an image. And here we are going to use a function by the QR code library which is called to file and just pass in the name of the QR code image file that you want to create and pass the text at the end and just remove the console from here we don't need that and that's pretty much it and let's try it on the console so we have uh, node qr gen image just copy this and run it with node okay that's that was pretty quick so we have yahoo qr code dot png now if you go to that folder you will see an image file yahoo qr code dot png let's open this file there you go, you have the QR code. You can place it in your website, your app, on your business card, anywhere you like. So this is pretty handful. This awesome QR code library also allows you to create much more than I have shown here, including binary data and with a variety of options. If you need to create a QR code 
look no further than node qr code so their github repository is located at github.com sold air forward slash node hyphen qr code if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you need any professional help you can email me at yahoo.mahmood at gmail.com my facebook address or my linkedin profile i'll be more than happy to help you see you and you can download this the source code of this video training from my github repository and experiment on your own see you next time with a new topic in node.js